The Lady Shocker volleyball team moved to 28-3 last week after defeating Memphis University. The Shockers were looking for their 20th straight win on the season, and they did not disappoint the crowded Charles Koch Arena. On top of that, the Shockers had not lost a set in more than a month since they faced University of Central Florida in October. Crowd set for the big swing. Kronberg to dig for Memphis. Hannah Shelton, one of the Shocker seniors, digs one out, and another. Kelsey Bivens with nice digs. And this crowd starting to get excited here in set one. Trying to find that patented run that Wichita State is known for. And that block at the net turned away by Memphis. Shockers up by three now, trying to get a little traction, get a little footing here in set one. <laughs> but that's something that she's added to the arsenal. For the big swing, but good job by Faith Myers. Perfectly positioned. And Abby Lane, there's not much stopping that. Great effort by Hannah Shelton and Emily Heber. Now the Shockers in scramble mode. And a block in the middle by Brooke Smith gets this crowd fired up. I don't know if that got over the tape or if Wichita State stuffed it, but either way, Shockers now with a seven point advantage. Brown set up beautifully by Hebert. Now the Shockers are one away. 28 straight for Wichita State. One more to get before we have a huge party at Charles Koch Arena. Perfection achieved. The Shockers go 20 and 0 in their maiden voyage in the Americas. Unbelievably well deserved. For a team to be in its first season in a new conference with no familiarity with any of these programs and to dominate it the way that Wichita State did, that is uncharted territory in more ways than one. The Lady Shocker volleyball team hosts Radford on Friday, December 1st at 8 p.m. at Charles Cook Arena here in Wichita, Kansas. The winner of that game will face the winner of the Kansas University and Missouri game, which will also be held here at Cook Arena. For all your Shocker sport coverage, make sure you subscribe to WSU TV.